Hi my beauty spikely sky rumptious delicious blue angel welcome to your love tarot reading today we're going to take a look at the energy between you and your soulmate whatever that means to you situationship relationship level day marriage divine masculine divine feminine whoever you boo boo your boo boo is whomsoever baby uh let's take a look at the energies uh between the divine feminine divine masculine anyone in between what is going on here what is going on here between my blue angel? Uh, please tell me, angels. Let's see. What is the general energy? Hmm. There's abandonment between the two of you, boo -boo. You've got the five of pentacles here. So, uh, you know, someone, someone feels like they took a, the coward's way out, but they also feel very uncertain about how to approach the situation. Somebody could be feeling abandoned by you. Uh, let me clarify that. Let me get another deck. Uh, also, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you're new and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I say, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. Um, we need to keep the noise down a little bit because it's super late here in Cyprus. And everyone is sleeping. By the way, shout out to my sister, Gondora Official. Check out her channel. She's always linked in the uh, description box below. The music in the background is by Gondora. She not only does tarot, she does um, all kinds of uh, amazing magical things. She also uh, composes music. So check out her music. Check out her channel. Yeah, there is conflict here. Somebody took the coward's way out. I think it was your person. You know, whatever this is, somebody took a coward's way out. The five of pentacles uh, and the five of wands. They're very conflicted in them um somebody could have left a connection or somebody could have distanced themselves from you even because they felt rejected there's a lot of rejection a lot of abandonment here you're uh you know you're kind of going on about your life and doing your thing here though uh the knight of pentacles slow and steady wins the race you're doing your thing you're getting the coin you don't you know you got your business going on for you you got everything's going it's almost like everything is perfect my dating blue angel but something is missing i think you're missing your person i think some of you might be wondering why somebody pulled back their energy the answer for that is because they felt rejected uh, on some level uh where Maybe they felt offended by something. Let's see what it was. What was the reason? Yeah, it's a secret. Why is it a secret? They don't want to tell you. It's all the walking away energy. Somebody felt like you weren't serious about them or somebody felt like you weren't... <sighs> There's something here about you being a little bit mysterious. This person doesn't like secrets. And they kept it a secret. <laughs> this is kind of weird. This person doesn't like secrets. Uh, they kept it a secret that they felt like you weren't maybe serious enough about them or something like that. And they felt really offended. Um, something ended here. Uh, the death card at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Let's see what the other energy is. Let's see how they see you and how you see them. It's not too bad. I'm not feeling tragic, like worn down energy. I am feeling... <sighs> There's something pure about this connection, though. You know, you could be dealing with someone who's easily offended or quite sensitive, but you don't even know it. Uh, even if you know this person really well, it could be someone who doesn't deal with their feelings very well. They could be quite obsessive in their own little way, or, you know, they could come across as being, you know, like a player or popular, but they're not, like, deep inside. They're just very fragile, if you see what I mean. I don't even see player energy that much. It's more like someone who's in charge of their life. But, I mean, for some of you, it will be a player. Because remember, with the general readings, you know, Tigra resonates with them. But it's like, you know, some kind of a player who's, uh, sorry, not a player, but someone who's in charge who could come off for some of you as a player who's actually very, very vulnerable inside. Just one, one sad little, sad little child inside. Their inner child is very sad. They see you as the star. See, this is the thing. They see you as the star. They see you as just so scrumptious, someone to aspire to, something to dream about even. Um, but maybe it's easier to dream about you than to do something about it, you know? Could also be a situation where you were waiting for someone to approach you. Uh, you know, you're getting like the signs, the signals, and you're like, well, when is this baby going to make a move? And they didn't make a move. They ran away. They ran away from love. The seven of swords, this is how you see them. You feel like they ran away. You feel like somebody ran away or it didn't fight for you or, or it didn't live up to expectations. 
<sighs> I think both people here are feeling like the other person is holding secrets or is not honest about something. And I'm not sure if that's the case. I think that's just how you're coming across to each other. I think right now, my blue angel, you're feeling a little bit lonely or a little bit like, you know, something's kind of like getting to, you know, the grind is getting to you. The, the every day is getting to you a little bit. You're hoping to receive a message from them, aren't you? Let's see. Please show me angels. What is this person's intention? I might be this intention. <laughs> Well, this is so sad, but like scrumptious. Look, Queen of Cups, your person's intention is just to love you, baby. What's in the way here? What's going on? Why, why aren't you like, why aren't you together now? <laughs> you should be together having the time of your life. This person actually loves you. If it's someone you're not sure about their feelings or the depth of their feelings, someone here really loves you, really like, you really got to them like really deep, like real deep. It's like real love. For some of you it could be an on and off or like, you know, someone walking in and out of your life for a while. But if it's a new energy, somebody who like fell for you, hook, line, and sinker, but bell. But then they took the coward's way out over a situation because they felt mm, vulnerable and they didn't feel sure of themselves. Maybe they didn't get enough reassurance from you. You got the page of cups here. Uh, you're kind of feeling something towards them as well, my baby. I think you're you're less invested in a way, you know, you're less invested emotionally. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh at you because it's not a laughing matter because they actually like, they felt, somebody fell in love, like fell into the pits of love, they fell, you know, they fell in, boom, <laughs> fell into the thing, fell into the barrel, into the well, page of cups. So, you know, for you, you feel like there could be something here. You, you feel like there could be a new beginning. You're hoping that there's going to be some loving and constructive communication between the two of you. Let's see what this person regrets the most. <laughs> oh, good feel. Basically, someone's a bit of a coward, but they miss you. <laughs> and they love you. But is this the kind of love you want? And, you know, with the, with the Divine Feminine Masculine, anyone between soulmate energy, it's, you know, this is one of your soulmates soulmates it's never never just one you know it's not like we get one chance of love so it's just something to consider here as well that you know someone loving you but still being a coward about it is probably you know is that the kind of energy you want in your life oh boo -boo. five of swords wow what ha what, what what happened here baby somebody feels really betrayed justice somebody wants justice for me <laughs> tell me in the comments below what did you do what did they do? It's like both people feel like they want justice or both people feel like <sighs> betrayed by each other. And that page of cups for you is like, you're hopeful that something something better will come of this, but it's just like very mixed messages, very mixed energy here. On the one hand, I have two people who really like, you're really vibing, you're, you, this could be something really beautiful. It could be a rekindling of something really beautiful, but at the same time, there's just so much betrayal here. Let's see what the betrayal is about. Like, why somebody feels so betrayed? Oh, but Bill, you know, sometimes we do things, you say things that we don't even know that the, you know, could be a trigger f for the other person. Maybe there is a trigger. What is this? Hmm, Three of Pentacles. Somebody feels like a third wheel or somebody feels like the other person was seeing other people. Is it true? It's not really true. <laughs> It's not really true. Somebody jumped to conclusion. Somebody got jealous. I think your person got jealous and stopped talking to you or ghosted you or ended things, walked away because they thought you were entertaining other people or assumed it. And that wasn't true. So much betrayal. But now you feel betrayed by them as well. <laughs> it's like a weird um, soap opera energy, you know. But it's okay, baby. Love is complicated. Humans are complicated. Temperance is telling me that, you know, even though nothing funny was happening, it like, you know, there was like some healing is necessary here or, or, um, you know, somebody, somebody came into a connection here unhealed from previous heartbreak and, uh, you know, everything could have been a trigger to them. So even the smallest thing you did, maybe it reminded them of something from the past or something from a past relationship. Let's see what the future will bring. Oh, it's going to be okay, baby. Also, join me for my live on Saturday. I'm going to talk about it at the end of the video. It's going to be um, tomorrow, Saturday, March 11. Oh, Eight of Cups. What is this whole walking away, walking away? Why did this person walk away? Did you tell them to leave or walk away? Uh, and, you know, maybe there was like an argument or an exchange of words and somebody told the other person to go and they did. And neither party meant 
for that to happen. It's like, you know, some good news. So much suspicion and so much love. The devil. Hmm. Why? <laughs> why? It's like this person doesn't want you to play with them. They don't want you to to they don't want you to just cast them off or something like that. They're afraid that, that um, you're going to reject them or play with them or something like that. They, they don't just want to be like, you know, on a list somewhere, you know, like they, they want something. Mm. This person needs to feel safe. I think they've given you a lot of mixed messages. What they really need is safety. you got the page of wands here. Um, there's going to be some action taken in the near future. We're in March, 2023. So, you know, this isn't the energy of a message coming to you. It's still in March, 2023. Someone's gonna reach out. It could be a bit of an angry message too. I don't know, out of frustration. I think, you know, both people, I think this person's not reaching out to you right now or maybe just being like a little bit weird because they feel like they don't want to be rejected. And you're kind of like the devil to them as well, my bit bill. You're like a bit of a temptation, a little bit complicated, a little bit difficult. Hmm. Judgment at the bottom of the deck, a definite return to um, to something how, how things used to be, you know, uh, and also healing. A lot of healing is necessary here if you're going to pursue this relationship. Let's see what they regret the most as well, apart from that five of swords, that betrayal. <sighs> Bibi, what happened? This person feels like they told you something about them or, or they disclosed something, or maybe you told them something, something you shared with each other that could have been uh, very intimate, you know, like um, like a secret or a fact about you or something like that. But this person also feels like they invested a lot into you and then, you know, it became the devil to them. See, betrayal again at the bottom of the deck. Bit bail. Betrayal. They feel betrayed. They feel like you took something from them, bit bail. You took their love, you took their money, you took something, you know, whatever. It's I'm not saying you did, it's just how they feel uh, right now. And you could be feeling the same way. So both people feel like they lost something, like they made an investment and something was lost here. Let's see what magic will help and then we'll get some advice for you. It'll be okay. You're gonna get a chance to talk it out, I think. Maybe uh, your person isn't very good at talking. Uh, and that's why there's all these difficulties here as well. The star, the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. Yeah, the stars, you know, you've got, that's how they see you. So I think ultimately this person is going to come towards the light and come towards the star. There's a lot of star mag magic in the air today. If you came to my life today, I was just talking about it. I, I get a lot of um, magical power from, from stargazing and, you know, working with the stars and, and the planets. So, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, star magic and the stars do bring people together and they do shine bright and, and they do illuminate things when it's darkest outside in the night. So, you know, I think this person's experiencing some kind of a night of the soul. They're, they, they worry a lot as well. Um, I think you might do as well. I think you do too. But this person, this person worries more. So if you worry a lot, like they worry more, twice as much. Um, and yeah, that betrayal here, fear of betrayal. Someone has a deep wound around betrayal here. And I think it is your person. I think they got triggered with something. And I think that's why uh, a lot of this connection has been so difficult. It does <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. Someone was afraid that something could end or something would end before it started or something was approaching a final ending and they tried to um, avoid it by walking away. It's a kind of mixed up energy. What is the advice? And what is the lesson? <laughs> well, the advice is that there's unfinished business here. So it's up to you how you want to handle that, my baby, the nine of wands. It's, uh, you're cruising through difficult waters too. There's something risky about this connection. There's the risk of getting hurt. I think you have two people here who really don't want to be hurt and uh, you're, you kind of both played with fire a little bit and got burnt, my baby. Um, the lesson here is about working, working things out, working on things. Do you know how much work does a connection take and how much work are you willing to put into things? So, you know, even when there is a rift like this or a misunderstanding or, you know, things happen, right? So now the question is how much work are you willing to put into this and how much work are they willing to put into this? Let's see how much work they're willing to put into this. 
How much work are they willing to put into this? Mm. <laughs> Phil, I don't know. Uh, I think this is someone who's very mad at you. Are they willing to put in the work? Yes. But they're kind of saying, well, you got to make the move first. Or like, you got to put in the work first. They're just like really butthurt. So to me, you know, four of swords and three of pentacles is saying, you know, I don't know if this person is worth the investment. Maybe on some level, it's something for you to think about because it's like, yeah, they kind of, they're loving you from afar um, and they feel butthurt, but then so do you. And they're not, they're kind of like not compromising. They're, they're a little childish in this way. They're like, I'm mad. You heard me. So you have to do all the work instead of just, you know, putting in that, you know, rock solid spiritual work or working through something together. But I think you will if you really want to. But I would just, a little red flag here is that there's something about your person that they don't share feelings properly. Maybe, you know, uh, there was a misunderstanding here. And instead of talking it out, they just got butt hurt. They just got butt hurt and left you guessing, you know, why they got butt hurt. You're kind of like maybe, uh, maybe you're kind of tired of that kind of energy in your life anyway, my big bill. Let's see. What the final angel message is for you today. So it's up to you, baby. I see somebody reaching out to you in the next one hour, one day, one week, or one month. Uh, still in the month of March. Five of Wands. Yeah, you know, how much fighting? Like, it's like the the, the angels of love are saying, you know, love shouldn't be a fight. It, it should be easy. It, it shouldn't be so hard all the time. And there's something really difficult about this person. I think they have a lot of demons they're bringing into connections and they haven't worked that out themselves. So they just ended, uh, end up being a demon themselves. They end up embodying, uh, you know, the, the demon, the, the shadow that they carry within them. Um, but there's still healing in that too. There's still healing in that card because it's two people battling a demon or battling a monster, the Hydra. So I think if we work together, uh, you can definitely go places in this connection. Question for you though is, you know, how mature uh, is this person that you're dealing with? And by mature, I don't mean in age at all. I mean in mind, body, and soul. Uh, Cause as we know, babies, like there's people out there who are in their eighties and they have the maturity of a 10 year old. So um, up to my baby as always, it's all about free will on this channel. This is your reading for today. Thank you for spending your time with me, my baby. If you like my videos, etc., etc., uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because that really helps me out. I cannot tell you just how much that helps me out. Um, comment below with your story if this resonated for you. If you would like to purchase a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below together with information about my other magical services. And today we're doing a live. We're going to do a big fat live uh, Saturday, March 11th. Actually, it's today for me, probably yesterday for you, oh, whatever. Like, it's going to be March 11th, Saturday, and it's going to be at 12 noon Pacific time. I'll be uh, doing love readings, talking about love magic, and taking your magical questions, uh, your tarot questions. Uh, it's PayPal questions, and all the uh, information will be posted very shortly. It's $13 uh, per question in the lives. And yeah, I really look forward to it, my boo-boo. Uh, I had such a nice time with you today. Thank you uh, for all the love and the scrumptiousness. I'll see you next time. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm. Now I gotta turn off the camera a little further away today. Mm -hmm.